Hi everyone, my name is Eli from the Whale Shark Oceanic Research Center. We are an organization dedicated to studying whale sharks here in Utila in the southeastern Caribbean as well as reef health here. And today I wanted to talk to you about a specific type of survey that we do on a monthly basis that contributes to a wide-scale citizen science platform that anyone in the world can contribute to and that is the reef survey. So today we're going to be talking about how to do one of these surveys and how you can contribute to science on your next dive on a reef near you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Eli. I am the social media coordinator for the Whale Shark Oceanic Research Center. We are very closely partnered with Dive Utila and all of their um, dive programs. And on this channel, we post about everything that we do on a weekly basis here at Dive Utila and the Whale Shark Oceanic Research Center. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit the subscribe button. But otherwise, we'll go ahead and continue talking about the reef survey. So, what even is a reef survey? So, a reef survey is a very simple type of survey that literally anyone in the world can contribute to if you know how to identify one singular organism on your reefs. This is mainly for fish specifically, although in um, some regions of the world people document uh, vertebrates and also some benthic species on the seafloor as well, but mainly it is for fish. It is a super easy survey to conduct and really anyone can contribute to it. It's designed for um, the everyday diver. So before you do a reef survey, it's really helpful and important to have a reef slate, which you can buy one of these on the reef website. You can write on these underwater and document everything very efficiently. There's also a little section to um, draw things out if you're unsure of what the exact species is. Um, they're really helpful, really easy to use. Um, so get one of these before your survey and then all you need other than that is scuba gear. Really, it's that simple. You just need the slate and you're good to go. Some other things that might be really helpful for you in doing a reef survey is an identification book or identify identification resources online. Our favorite here at the Whale Shark Center is this book here. It's called Caribbean Reef Life. This is what we use for a lot of the things that we don't know. On the reef, we head to this book. Um, it's really um, great pictures and great descriptions and uh, fun facts for a lot of the species here that we have on Utila. But there are specific books for regions all over the world, so it's good to have an ID book if you want to start doing some more of this type of thing. So once you've got your materials and you are ready to start a dive, you're ready to do a survey, once you've arrived at your dive destination, make sure to document your environmental surroundings. So things like the wind or the uh, wave action or the visibility, the temperature, all those sorts of things, write them down on your slate uh, so that you have them for your data entry. Once you're ready to begin your survey, make sure you write at the top here your dive site location because that's going to be really important to tie to in your, um, your submission to the database. And then you're going to do something called the roving diver survey method. So this is a super simple type of survey method where you are basically swimming freely. There's not really a um, very defined course of action. But uh, the reason for this is so you can still have a very leisurely dive. You can do this on any dive. You just document things that you see. And um, there's not much more to it. It's really designed for anyone to be able to do this on a regular old dive. You might as well contribute to science while you're doing it. While you're going along on your dive, just document anything that you know for sure. All the species that you're 100% positive about, you can go ahead and write those down. If you're not sure of what the exact species is, you can go ahead and draw a picture of it and try to look it up afterwards to see if you can identify it. And while you are identifying things, there's four little letters over here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to focus on that there. Um, I don't think it will. But there's four little letters here and that's single, few, many, and abundant. You're just simply going to cross off what you see on the reef. So if you just see one singular organism, you're going to cross off an S. And then if you see two to ten organisms, you're going to cross off the few. And then if you see 11 to 100 organisms, you're going to cross off the M for many, and then greater, one, greater than 100 of a single type of fish, you're going to cross off the A for abundant. And you're just going to cross that off as you go throughout the dive. So you can just continue adding um, and crossing things off as you go. 
and it could be really fun. For some regions in the world, you can write down invertebrates, so make sure to check out your specific region on the Reef website if they're interested in gathering that sort of data. You can contribute to some very important things. Otherwise, uh, you can just document fish, and that's still really helpful. Once you've completed your dive, it's really important to also write down things like the dive site, the depth, and the temperature during the dive. You can get that from your dive guide or from your dive computer. Uh, if you don't have those things, I don't think it's the end of the world, but it is also really helpful to have when you are putting in that data just to give a better picture of what happened during your dive. Once you're done with your survey and you are ready to submit it to the Reef database, all you need to do is head to the reef.org website and then make an account and then head over to the Reef Data Entry Program to go ahead and make a submission. Make sure when you're creating a submission that you only do one submission per survey and just make sure that you have surveys on separate submissions and you're gonna go through and select all of the species that you see and fill out um, everything, all the information from your dive. There's more detailed instructions that you can find on the actual website, but other than that, it really is that simple. This is all that you need to do to contribute to some really important science. This type of work can really help scientists from all over the world get a better grasp on reef health in general how the reef is doing, how fisheries are doing related to that specific reef, and so much more. This data can help do so much. So it's really helpful if you are going on a dive to just contribute that information if you can, even if it's just six species that you really know how to identify, document those, and you can contribute to something incredible. So that's gonna be all for this video in particular. Thank you guys for watching and thank you Reef for providing this really cool opportunity to uh, contribute to a science that we can provide lots of people with every month to do. If you're interested in doing a reef survey with us specifically with the Whale Shark Oceanic Research Center, make sure to check out that link below to check out some of our internship programs. Our internship programs are dedicated to uh, teaching you everything that we can about the reefs here in Utila and also about whale sharks here in Utila. So if you're interested, definitely check those out. But otherwise, we will see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching.